Hello DIY team. Today we're going to show you how we made these cornhole boards that we've taken to a few different events and used as a family during some playtime. We'll go over these instructions here in a bit and hopefully this helps you out. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself. Today on DIY with Chris. Here's some of the parts that we're going to be using today. So we're making one set for this, so we're gonna have uh, two sheets that are gonna be 24 inches by wide by 48 inches long. So we're gonna put handles on them to make it a little bit easier to carry. We have walking clasps, bolt washer and nut assemblies for the two legs. We have our screws that we're gonna be using for this. We're gonna be using one and a quarter inch, six pieces of wood here. These are going to be the front and the back for the trim that goes around it. And they're also going to be the middle supports that go between the legs. And then we have these other four pieces right here, which are the 48 inches long, which are gonna be the length of our trim. We also have some staining pads. We got some gel stain, uh, cherry wood, some uh, frog tape as well to go with it. Our ideal method that we're going to try and use is pocket screws. We're going to drill some holes for beverages. Three inch hole saw there. The hole for the actual bags to go through. Six inch hole. Uh, whole saw. We have a lot of the dimensions and the materials that we had up here. So the face of the board should be 24 inches by 48 inches. The actual hole for these boards is going to be 6 inches. The placement for that will be uh, 12 inches inward from the side and 9 inches down from the top. We are going to place a little locking strap right here that's going to, uh, when you put them together it's going to lock them together so you can just carry one piece instead of having to carry both boards and that's going to be on both ends and then uh, we have some hardware it's just a handle that's going to go on one side as well so you can carry it to where you need to take it the legs here so they're going to go out and angle we have a, a lag bolt that's here at the top and so from the top up to the very bottom of the legs as they sit should be 12 inches there. Right here in the middle you'll see these lines. We're going to put a, a cup support or a support and it's going to double as a cup holder. The cup holes that we're going to drill into that board that goes across are going to be three inch holes which will accommodate most uh, cups and bottles in there. And the measurements for that is from the edge of the center support piece that we're going to cut, we're gonna go four inches in, leave that mark one and a half inch in, um, and do that cross section there. We'll do the hole and then that'll be the center of our three inch hole. And uh, from the actual side, so up here on our very back face, it's gonna have to have a little hole cut in, otherwise they'll run into it. So we're gonna cut uh, little half holes um, in there and those are going to be measured five and a half inches from the edge of the actual uh, board itself. Here's the approximate project cost. So we have approximately 31 feet of one by four per set. So that's two cornhole boards together is going to be a set. And so that's approximately 31 feet of that that we needed. That's, that's about $35. All these are approximate um, costs here. We have two sheets of two feet by four feet or 24 by 48 inch plywood. It's only half inch sheets is, is what we got. So if you get a full four by eight, then that's only gonna be a half sheet. Otherwise, Home Depot and Lowe's generally do sell uh, pre-cut 24 by 48 inch um, wood faces, which are really great to use for these. They are more expensive though. So for the whole sheet, we paid about $36. And for one of those faces, uh, one of those pieces, it is $22 last time we, we went over there. So uh, definitely cost more to do it that way. One and a quarter inch screws for all of this. We got a new box for it. We have some painter's tape for actual um, designs. We picked up some gel stain, one quart of it, which is about 17, some sponges to help spread that. Uh, about $5. Washers, bolts, and nuts for a uh, full set is about 31 cents altogether, so pretty cheap there. Handles were about a dollar each, so two dollars for the handles and three dollars for two latches. So this is approximate cost per set, so 
you're looking uh, right around a uh, hundred dollars or so. The basics of the wood that we're going to start with is I need two uh, two side pieces, and these are going to go full length. Good, and then I have these two center pieces here, uh, the actual plywood face. Um, this sheet is what I generally use for the legs right here, so I have it marked legs. So I'm going to cut the legs out of this piece right here and uh, I'm doing my center supports with this piece. So I just got to have to cut it once and then two cuts here and then I have these other pieces. So we'll go ahead and start assembling it. We're going to be using pocket screws for this. So uh, we're going to do two screws on either end and then I do uh, screws about every six to eight inches. We're going to go ahead and start putting on the legs now. So we've already cut the top curvature. Um, that should be what it is based off of some other models we've done. We're not going to cut that quite yet. We're going to take a spacer, just taking this little piece of wood to keep it away from the edge there. And then I'm going to clamp this in place. I'm going to put in a drill bit that's going to be just a little bit bigger than the bolt that we're going to be feeding through. I'm going to go ahead and uh, run one of the bolts through here. I'm going to tighten this down until the head of this bolt is seated against the wood. It's catching just a little bit right here. So I usually run it back and forth a few times. It'll leave a nice smooth mark here and that's gonna let me know what to sand down. At this time, we're gonna go ahead and start marking off the, uh, the actual hole for the bags to go into. So what we're gonna do is we're going to measure down nine inches to the center of the hole. Make a little mark there. Then we're gonna go in 12 inches. Just a pilot hole really quick down here. I'm gonna use that to uh, seat the needle of my compass. We're gonna do a six inch line and then we're gonna do an eight inch line. Six inch is gonna be the actual hole there and then we're doing an eight inch circle around that as part of the design. I'm actually gonna be using a hole saw to do this hole but it makes it a whole lot easier to do the outer line right now before we cut the hole out. Uh, if not, then uh, we can cut this hole out and then you just put it back in on the bottom and then tape the bottom of it so you can still do your design around it. I already have this one, so it's fitting right in there. So we're gonna measure an inch and a half up from either end. So I'm gonna do a mark on this end and a mark on this end, and that'll be our guide for this to make sure that it actually sits flat. You can go ahead and make a line all the way across on there, but this just gives you a guideline. First, I'm gonna do a, a dry fit. If your center support is too long, then your legs won't go down. And this is still sliding down just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the screws, add some glue, and then secure it in place. We're gonna go ahead and cut our six inch hole right now. So I have a uh, six inch hole saw. Um, you can also do it with jigsaw. 
As you can see here, this is what our boards look like at the end. We made two different sets. One has a chalkboard paint that's on the front so we can customize it every time we play. And then we have these ones that have this basic design. They've seen a lot of use recently across a few different events and then us just playing in the yard. You can design yours however you want, but we found a couple different templates on the internet which we really liked. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you so that you can make your own, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up or a like and uh, subscribe to our channel. That'll really help us out in the future. And as always, we do our best to give you the tools to do it yourself. Have a great day. Wait, wait, wait. Move. Hold on. Move. Hey. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself today on DIY with Chris.